Gemini. My yin yang Gemini. Yeah. What's up, twins? What's popping? What is going on in the life of a Gemini for mid month May 2019? Are you guys having to push through a few hurdles and obstacles? And at this point, life has showed you you have to surrender control. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time on my channel, hi, I'm Mooka. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because, me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We all are dysfunctional. We might cry, you know, we cuss. We share, we grow, we in love, uh, we enlighten, we love each other. Positive vibes only, okay? We keep that negativity where it's at. I brought my ancestor to the reading with me, the moth, okay, the white moth, since it wanted to come and, you know, show its face and be up in here letting everybody know gang gang be protected, okay? So, without further ado, as long as my little moth friend doesn't bother you all, the beauty. I guess my moth friend wanted to help me deliver Gemini's message, all right? To my returning subscribers, what's up, baby? What's up, family? What's poppin'? You understand me? What's going this out? Y'all see my chrism? The moth liked it. Ancestry in the building. <laughs> you guys, I love you all so much. I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you guys for uh, the first half of May. Y'all, I had an allergy, like an allergenic type of allergic reaction. Apparently, in my eyes, I'm allergic to pollen. So, it, I thought it was pink eye, but it was it went to both eyes, y'all. She looked like somebody punched me. Y'all know... I'm beautiful. I'm a little insecure about that. So I just couldn't. And my eye was hurting like shit. So I just couldn't bring it in. They couldn't find it in me to come and record Nathaniel. So I apologize. Please forgive me. You guys, this reading may resonate with some of you all. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Please take what does. Leave the rest. Okay? Um, thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly, truly, truly appreciate y'all. Okay? Um, I think that's all of them. Oh, if you need a person reading, that information can be found within the description. This is just general. Let's rock, okay? I don't want to be sitting here all damn day. So, yes, if you hear some, -do -do, -do -do, -do -do, it's because about the time. Because I got a, I, I, my plan was to put everybody together. But you know what? Because I didn't get everyone done, I was like, my gems ain't going to like that shit. Y'all ain't going to like that shit. So, I had to put some respect on it because I got Gemini up in here. So, I said, you know what? Let's get my baby state video. So, let's rock. We're going to start off with you guys' intuitive messages, okay? This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Gemini. What I got for you all was times of overthinking, support system, rectify, apology, surroundings, synchronicity, the past returns, malicious, karma, methodical, soul contract, closure, clarity, dark magic, perception. Judgment, partnership, financial abundance, investments, family worry, plot twists, unexpected, readjust, compromise, releasing, blockage, health issues, life path, children, custody, fairness. Okay? So if that did, uh, if any of those intuitive messages resonated with you, let's talk about it. This is definitely your message, okay? The overall energy I got for Gemini's for me was made was definitely, it was a two of uh, spades. So you guys needed to make a decision, okay? This decision is something that you are passionate about. Some of you guys are having to choose, I'm here in between finances and family, okay? You choose, you're having to do the right thing. I'm here, do the right thing, okay? For some of you all, <clears throat> this is strictly about um having to do like where your values lie where your structure lie some of you all are going to be blessed with a catalyst situation to remove you from a toxic situation so that you can spread your wings like this beautiful white moth that wanted to come and deliver this message to you all okay so the first angel message that you guys got for the month okay i'm going to give my spirit messages from the angel messages and this comes from the doreen or virtue or oracle i think archangel oracle there okay the first messages that you guys got was prioritized from archangel metatron Focus on your highest priorities, then I will help you get organized and motivated. So some of you guys, I'm hearing investments. I'm also hearing collaboration as well as entrepreneurship. Some of you guys are really sitting, 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 sitting on the ideas. And your angels are saying, hey, 
What about me? I'm here to assist you only if you be allowing to my assistance, okay? If you be allowing, to, if you're allowing to help, if you be receptive to, you know, me trying to assist you during this time, don't try to figure it out on your own. Some of you guys are spending most of your damn time watching tarot videos, I'm hearing, and overthinking things, waiting for the damn answer when spirit is sending you simple, beautiful things for the free that does not require for you to waste all your energy and share your energy with people who ain't right they damn self and spirit say let's talk about it gemini okay for some of you all there is going to be some type of crown chakra activation happening for you all and some of y'all may have libra in your chart as well i'm hearing some of you all um some of you guys could also be finding out some type of lineage tie when it comes to family structure or some type of royal tie like some of your, your family could be from some type of island or some type of um like some type of I'm hearing royal lands, royal grounds, okay? For some of you all, some of you guys, spirit is all around you. Your ancestors want you to know that they're all around you, Gemini. They're just simply a lot they, they want you to be more open to asking for help, okay? Instead of trying to figure everything out yourself. Some of you guys are in this even when I began to record this, I got this feeling of like shaking this like like look like you know like looking looking over my damn shoulders if someone was coming to get me okay um <laughs> and spirit wants you to know to relax rejuvenate restore okay and also reach out to your ancestors they're wanting you to get asked for help also trust your dreams during this time some of you guys are dreaming very massively, especially when it comes to uh, whatever information that you're receiving in the crown chakra. Some of you guys are also, um, some of you guys are wanting to go into practice when it comes to mediumship or some type of psychic work, okay? Um, and I say psychic work because for some of you all, you focus on the light work aspect versus actually embracing your the shadow aspect of your side because the people who are going to be coming to you are going to be people who you're going to be having to pull out of the shadow to kind of make them recognize acknowledge as well as work through work through to progress out of their shadow energy so some of you guys may need to protect your energy during this time because i definitely feel like um there's an energy of like a crab in a bucket, okay? And some of y'all are hearing cancer. So some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of cancer. Someone's very needy, and there's a need for you guys not to invest your energy in other people and get overexerted in their bullshit to the point where your opportunities just fly right over your damn head, okay? The next message that you guys got is courage from Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs, okay? So for some of you all, I'm hearing... um. Legal. I'm hearing legalities. For some of you all, I also heard commitment. Some of you guys, I feel that you are, it's like you're a slave to your loyalty, okay? For some of you all, you may be dreaming of wolf during this time, and you also may be finding feathers. Some of you guys could also be have, needing to have courage when it comes to dealing with some type of attachment or some type of a dynamic having to do possibly with the Taurus or, or a Leo. This person came into your life with a karmic assignment attached to it, okay? For some of you all, karma could be good or bad. Do not limit yourself to a particular way of seeing things or perceiving things so that you can allow yourself to truly experience Experience, the love and the opportunities that life has to give you, baby. Okay? For some of you all, um, this is about your ancestry trying to uh, come forth and talk to you. Some of y'all could also be dreaming of your ancestors or a love, a loved one that could have passed over. I'm getting a younger woman, uh, Kara, Sarah, um, Corina, Carol, Cecilia. Celestine, Celeste, Selena, those for who they resonate with. Now, y'all have people, you have people coming through saying, hey, these names, okay? For some of you all, there's also making a decision to release something that is old in order to embrace the new or to keep moving forward and to know that your loved ones love you and they are going to continue on continue on your journey with you in spirit in your heart as they live through your love. The last message that you guys got was compassion from Archangel Zadkiel. Okay? Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself, I heard family. Some of you all could also be um some of y'all could also be buying crystals during this time. There's a need for Gemini to connect with possibly amethyst and rose quartz during this time. And I feel like it has to do one with actually the honing of your intuition and being able to remember as not just remember but be able to um 
interpret what it is that you're seeing and the messages that your ancestors are trying to give you through your dream space. Some of you guys could also have some type of earth angel encounter or some type of higher self encounter. You guys' dream state is coming through and seeming like pretty lucid during this time. And it has to do with, for some of you guys, you needing to ground your root chakra. And for some of you all, some type of like overly active solar plexus. But you guys are not moving on your ideas. There's a need for you guys to prioritize time for your family as well as the things and your family and friends and your world as well as for yourselves. Because for some of you all, you're giving your power away. And giving your power away doesn't always mean that you're allowing someone to mistreat you or misuse you or um, for that matter make you feel less than. Sometimes it means that you've taken on other people's bullshit. Retire your cape for a second. Put your damn cape in the cleaners. And go take care of you during this time, Gemini. Okay? There's a focus on this Scorpio full moon. I'm hearing revelations and I'm hearing at the door. Some of y'all could have someone literally coming to your front door during this time. And for some of you all, I feel like you've had some type of premonition or like pre-warning of this person showing their face. Okay? And I feel like you didn't make the decision. So spirit is kind of having some type of, there's some type of divine intervention for um, some type of soul contract that you have with another to come to either a close or move forward so that you can actually and, and this moving forward is going to require you guys to move with blind faith but you're kind of being called with that in every area of your life during this time Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Gemini in love for this mid month of May what can they expect in love yeah four cups okay so some of you guys are feeling left out or there's i'm hearing fear of okay so some of you guys are fear of making a decision okay especially when it comes to love matters some of you guys yeah some of you guys may have to move away from a water side during this time i feel like there is a lot of love with this person oh okay thank you spirit some of you all, you want to move forward when it comes to love matters. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all are dealing with water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You you want to move away from this person and go actually be fulfilled in love. But I definitely feel like there's this, again, slaves to my loyalty. I, 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 I want to continue working on a situation. You need to make a decision on if you're going to move forward, if you're going to continue to work on a situation. I feel like some of you have to choose between two lovers and you love both people. And for some of you all, either you or another person want to have their cake and eat it too. This could also involve an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and yourself. Some of you guys have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you could have some type of tie to this person when it comes to family structure. You could also have a tie to this person when it comes to having a business or something having to do with assets or some type of structure. Okay, as far as like money ties, I'm hearing. Okay, but for some of you all, your heart lies with the Leo person. Okay, or this could be Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like someone in the past who could have made you feel abandoned is coming forward. They want to come back and express their love to you. However, you don't know if you want to, you don't know if the, I'm hearing safety. You don't know if the situation is safe because you already have built something sturdy and solid, possibly with the earth sign, Capricorn, or Virgo. For some of you all, there's an issue with trust, okay? Some of you guys are holding on to what you have because you feel as if you want to move forward. You feel the love with this person. You know that you manifested this person, but you don't trust them. Some of you guys are having the courage to move away from a situation that you feel as if you've been holding on to, trying to control how things go. This could be you or some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Aquarius. Some of y'all are going to have courage to possibly move away from somebody who you're going to find out has only been attached to you uh, for financial reasons. And for some of y'all, this could be an Aquarian, a Leo, um, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This could also be a Libra, another Gemini. But for some of you guys... This is this definitely surrounds making a decision around a family. Family. Okay, I'm hearing family. Some of you all, if you could you could have been manifesting some type of fulfillment or some type of stable offer, something that's passionate that that that, that fulfills you in love as well as passion. And I feel like in the past you could have been the one to put in the work but someone made you feel left out and made you feel as if um what you were doing wasn't good enough. And now I feel like I'm hearing tables turn, plot twist. So for some of you guys, you could have moved on and found someone that you love. And now this person that had a realization that, hey, that's my boo. I miss my Gemini. You know, everything in which I wanted. Some of y'all, I'm hearing what you told this person, it manifested. Okay, so for some of you all, this person could have uh, made you feel uh, neglected or rejected. Okay, made you feel as if you were an option. They didn't. They didn't 
For some of y'all, I'm also hearing close the door, left the window open. So some of y'all, this person could have moved away and just didn't con had no contact. Someone who you had no contact with could be returning and you don't know if you can trust it. For some of you all, there's a need for you to guard your money when this person returns, especially if they are an Aquarian. They could also be a Scorpio. Somebody want to hold on to you for either the time that you have or the resources that you have as far as connections and collaborations. Some of y'all, somebody trying to use y'all to climb up the ladder. They're trying to use your connections. And for some of you all, this could be a fire sign, every deal, Sagittarius. Now you're having a realization that you want to have a family with this person. You want to move forward, okay? For some of you all, that yeah, some of y'all are setting clear boundaries, setting clear, clear boundaries or some type of boundaries possibly with the Taurus. I feel like this person could have been moving very, very, very snake-like. And some of you guys have come to the conclusion that you can't build anything with this person or that this person was trying to attach themselves. Some of you guys, be, be careful when it comes to sexual activity because I'm picking up the energy and some of y'all have someone that's trying to like, they're obsessed with not letting you go to the extent that if you have a sex with this person that they will purposely do their thing to try and stay in your life. And for some of you all, I'm hearing there's a past situation where someone could have done this to you in the past. Um, if there was any infidelity when it comes to a child or unfairness done with a child, somebody could have done this to you and when you didn't choose them, they they abandoned you. Someone is also wanting to come and give you some type of financial assistance during this time, as well as truth and clarity. This could involve a fire sign. Every deal, Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you all, you're going to be on the defense, okay? Some of y'all are wanting, some of y'all are going to be on the defense about moving forward towards a relationship because you want to hold on to uh, the way that you do things. You want to hold on to the focus that you have on your finances. The spirit is saying, if you be courageous and have and be optimistic and just trust me just a little bit, Gemini, let the damn walls down, knock them damn sticks down in front of you, down just a little bit, and let me in. I'm going to bless you, but you got to let me receptivity okay for some of you all whoever is returning some of this some of y'all especially if it's a water sign cancer pisces scorpio y'all this person still got hoes all right so don't fall for the okie doke some of you guys are dealing with a water sign and things could move forward but there needs to be a conversation had about how someone makes the other person feel like i feel like holding on to the relationship is one-sided Especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. If you're dealing with air, you guys don't trust each other. And this could have to do with someone not communicating properly. It could also have to do with things that have happened in the past and someone has an issue with letting that go. And so I don't see it moving forward. And for some of you all who are dealing with a fire sign, there needs to be some type of truth and clarity had before you can trust the situation to move forward. I feel as if you drop the damn, drop the damn fight, drop the damn um, expectation to fight. Then you're actually going to come out, baby, with something beautiful, something that is equal, give and take, something that is balanced, okay? All right, so let's clarify. Why is the star card here for Gemini? Why is the star? Yeah. For some of y'all, you're going to find out you're dealing with an Aquarian person, and this person is resisting, resisting the connection because they want to hold on. They don't know if they, they got one foot in the door and one foot out the door. There is love here, but this person is also focused on finances and control and shit, okay? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? Some of you are going to decide to hold on to a connection. Yeah, some of you guys, you're dealing with a Leo. Or some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. And I feel like this person... <sighs> One second, because it's two ways. I'm seeing, I'm hearing that it's going. For some of you all, this person, you could find out this person had put you in a third party with someone because of financial reasons, okay? Somebody was out here <laughs> prostituting. <laughs> they were hoeing out here in these streets. Yes, they was. Yes, they was. And some of you guys... Some of you guys, the truth could have came out surrounding a situation where there was infidelity. It could have involved Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Fire, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Air, you, or another um, Aquarius, Libra. I feel like someone wants to hold it, especially if you have a family with this person. They want to work through it. They want to work through it. And even though they're saying, their mouth is saying that they want to work through it. They're going to have a hard time healing. Like, they're not going to heal just tomorrow, okay? 
I feel like in arguments, this this, this may come out a few times um, in the future. Okay. Why is the Two of Swords here with the Eight of Pentacles? Okay. So for some of you all, you're making a decision about this could have to do with your finances, okay, with your job. Some of you guys are making a decision on if you want to stay and work at a job or you feel as if it's just a damn job. Or if you actually want to make money off of what fulfills you and move into uh, your own uh, business, actually move into uh, the field of entrepreneurship. And some of you guys, I'm also here in healthcare. Some of you guys, this could have to do with healthcare. Some of you guys, you want to move into the field of uh of transportation and for some of you guys this could also have to do with construction like you actually branching out to get your own construction company but for a lot of you all I'm hearing healthcare and transportation and for some of you all I'm also hearing um, elderly okay so this could have to do with um, home health care um, giving you like some type of subcontract but I do see everything actually working out in your favor things moving forward if you choose passion over what you've been patient with okay why is the King of Wands here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords? Yeah. Somebody got to tell the truth, okay? And I feel like after some truth is had, like, you're not trusting the situation when it comes to some type of family situation, especially it involves uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like someone was very defensive. Someone resisted. Um, I'm hearing responsibility, okay? This could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody resisted taking, taking up <clears throat> for their responsibilities. And I feel like there's some type of truth that is going to be had or some type of clarity that's going to be given mid-month May that is going to allow things to move forward only if the, only if one of you stop being defensive and the other motherfucker stop lying, okay? So I do see for uh, the most part, Spirit does want you to, um, yeah, for some of y'all, you got an earth sign. This is a younger man. I'm getting a bit of masculine energy. Some of y'all got a younger earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This person moves extremely slowly. The reason why they're moving slow is because they got hoes, okay? So, spirit is definitely saying, I do see reconciliations occurring. For some of you all, there is some type of truth coming out about some type of child, okay? Um, but yeah, there could be some type of truth involved in a child that could be coming out during this time. And I feel like it is going to be the catalyst situation for the big chop, okay? For some of y'all, this could be coming out through some type of court documents or some type of paperwork. I'm hearing mail into her home. So somebody could have some type of karmic situation where somebody was trying to hold on to your lover, they and they feelings. This could be you, Gemini, another person mailing some shit to your home. That was the energy that I felt at the door, okay? So you guys, this is what I have for you guys for the mid-month May. I hope that this resonates with a lot of you guys. Please leave me a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you have not uh, gotten a personal reading and you and this does resonate and you need more information that information can be found below within the description i love y'all i love y'all and i see you guys for the month of june and we going live and i'm putting everybody together so i'm gonna need somebody to be some time stampers and some moderators so i will talk to y'all then i actually probably talk to y'all before then because i want to do a q a but i love you guys my baby peace and light namaste